Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, May 14th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across Gold Coast Port. Uh-oh. This is a very deep cut geography question. I definitely don't know this. You can bank on them? Hmm. Well, these days you can bank on apps. There's apps that you can do banking with. I wonder if that's what they're going for here. Bug expert? Hmm. And this isn't about insects. I guess maybe it's about like technological bugs, maybe? Would that be like a sysadmin or a IT tech or something like that? Hmm. Snacks known as student fodder and scroggen in Germany and New Zealand, respectively. Whoa. Um, Scroggen? Student fodder? Jeez, um, I have no idea. Is it like trail mix or something? I have no idea what that's going to be. What few flyers desire. Well, I know when I fly, I don't like turbulence. Hmm, does that fit? Turbulence. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Let's see if that's helpful. Let's see if we can confirm that. Clear. Hmm. I don't know. That bead looks a little weird at the end of clear. Hockey game highlight for some. I don't know. There's a lot of fighting in hockey. Hmm. Yeah. 14 billion years for the age of the universe, abbreviated. Well, that should be an estimate, right? I think it's 13.7 if you're trying to be more precise. Okay, so that should be an estimate. All right, well, at least we have one answer where I'm fairly confident. Grade? That could be like a slope. Um, it could also be like a grade that you get on a report card. Hmm. Stops lying? That really should be stands, right? But that does not fit. Yeah. Hmm. Stops lying. It's not turbulence. What few flyers desire. Hmm. Boy, we just ran out of steam up here. Blank Camp 2020 Oscar nominated documentary. Hmm. Women's rights pioneer Elizabeth Blank Statton. Oh, I actually know that. That's Elizabeth Katie Statton. Nice. Okay, well, we've got a little bit more of a toehold up here. Bug expert. Boy, I would really want that to be like IT guy or something like that. Hmm. I really doubt that there's a rebus on today's puzzle, though. Hmm. Bad. This could start with bad. Hmm. You can bank on them. Oh, this could be spy, right? This probably should end in S because it's plural, right? Okay, spy because you place bugs when you're a spy. Boy, that still doesn't help too much. Words from mission control. Hmm. A countdown. Winter Olympics equipment. Skis? Luges? There's so many possibilities. Old Forester and Old Overholt offerings. Oh my god, I've never heard of either of these things. Boy, this puzzle's coming out swinging. Shame. Hmm. It's just so hard to get these ambiguous clues cold. Inclined. You're more likely to do something if you're inclined to do it. Hmm. Get an 800 on the GMAT, say. Uh, is it ace it? Hmm. 
Hmm. Bell Blanc Italian cheese. Oh, more cheese that's out of my wheelhouse. Leftovers from a donut, say. From a donut. It's not crumbs. Sometimes there's sprinkles on a donut. Could it be sprinkles? Hmm. It could be. Could be from a cupcake or, I mean, sprinkles are leftovers from a few things. Inclined. Hmm. Oktoberfest locale. I mean, there's Oktoberfest everywhere in Germany. I mean, they, they celebrated in like Munich, Bavaria, beer. Oh, maybe there's a beer garden. There we go. Yeah, that's a good generic term for a place to celebrate Oktoberfest because that's, they've got beer gardens all over Germany. Okay, that's good. All right, I feel really good to have a, a long answer here that's crossing another fairly long answer. Deep cuts could be gouges. I think that's right. Savory Scottish delicacy. Hmm. Drug kingpin on the wire. Marlowe, maybe Marlowe Stanfield. Boy, that's a hard that's a really hard clue for someone who hasn't seen The Wire. One of eight in the 12 days of Christmas. Is it eight maids of milking? It sounds, sounds right to me. Studies. Oh, dens. These are talking about rooms, not the verb studies. Wow, that's really hard. Saint blank locale in an English nursery rhyme. Hmm. I don't know if I recognize that. Actor who played Senator Vinnick on the West Wing. Man, I have no idea. It's looking like it might be Alan Alda. He might have been on the West Wing. I've never seen that show actually, so that's kind of a guess. Split in a way could be half though. Cut in two. That's good. Uh, I don't know, is it Ives? St. Ives? I don't think I know the nursery rhyme that that comes from. Begin the toasting process. At a wedding, usually you're tapping on a glass with a fork, right? Hmm, I wonder if it's not sprinkles. Clink? Clink a glass? Hmm. Big eye tuna. I wonder, is, am I spelling gouges wrong? Hmm. I don't know, it feels like it should be an A. I'm gonna take out sprinkles. And maybe this should be raise a glass? That seems like a good start to that. I don't know about gouges, that looks wrong. Maybe this should be gashes instead of gouges. I think I was spelling it wrong. I think gouging is O-U, but I think this has to be an A. Okay. Okay, so shame could be abash. That could be the verb. If you abash someone, you shame them. Oh, maybe this is acid. That's what we thought it was, right? All right. Not going to get to cheese. Inclined. Could that be... Apt, like if you're talking about someone like she's apt to do this, she's inclined to do that, yeah. Kind of berry could be acai. Uh, oh, geez, a donut that you would do in a car, not a donut that you eat. So it'd be a tire track? Oh man, that is so tricky. Uh... I guess it doesn't have to be a tire track. Maybe it's tire marks. Because I want this tuna to be ahi. I've heard that as a kind of tuna. But then what is this? Hmm, MS? Oh, is it all systems go? 
Nice, that's a great piece of fell. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's a very good thing to hear from Mission Control. Oh, oh wait, this is looking familiar. I think this is Haggis. I think that's what it is. I think the only reason I know that is because there's like a Scottish character that Mike Myers does in So I Married an Axe Murder, and I think he goes on about having Haggis. Yeah, that was his uh, precursor to doing the Scottish accent in Shrek, I think. Okay. Okay, this is not a fight. That's good. But what is it going to be then? It's not a goal or goals. I wonder if this is rise. These could both be types of whiskey. Having old in front of them makes that sound pretty plausible. Uh, sleds? Bobsleds, maybe? Hmm, maybe it's not a bash. Maybe it's a base. That's even worse than a bash. Yeah, you're really degrading someone if you abase them. Um, okay, so maybe it is a fight after all. Maybe it's a melee. Okay, so maybe this is sleds, like Bob sleds. Uh, okay, maybe stops lying is rises. Boy, it helps so much to just have a couple of letters in, doesn't it? That's just why I love building off of existing answers so much. Grade. Hmm. I don't think this is rend. That's tearing. Cut. Could it be axed? If you're axed from the team or something, you're cut. Oh my god, wait. Didn't I say trail mixes? Why didn't I put that in? <laughs> I guess I didn't think of the, um, the plural. I was thinking of it singular, but I should have known it's, it is pluralized in the clue. Okay, well, now we can put an axed, grade, rate. Yeah, so it is about like grading something, something's performance maybe. Things that pique your interest on TV. Teaser ads maybe? Oh man, that took a little bit of, <laughs> I really had to stretch to get that one out of my brain. Okay, yeah, teaser ads. I don't think I'm gonna know this port. Clear, I guess could be rid. If you clear something, you're ridding something sometimes. Oh, what few flyers desire is the middle seat. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, nobody wants the middle seat. Okay. I'm gonna put in rid. Maybe it's Accra, because that's the, oh, that's the capital of, which country was it? Ghana, maybe? Crip camp? Okay, yeah, maybe that sounds plausible. And you can bank on them as ATMs. Yeah, boy, I really should have should have thought of that. That's that's pretty low-hanging fruit as far as wordplay goes. Okay, so yeah, I think this is Accra. I think that has been on the puzzle a few times. They can cause anxiety. Hmm. It's plural. One of the Kennedys? Is it just Ted Kennedy? It seems too easy. Does a deep dive on a topic without. Maybe Geeks Out? Animal that comes to shore to lay eggs. It's gotta be a sea turtle, right? Yeah. Sight of an underground pool, maybe. Hmm. Sight? I'm not sure what that's going to be. A zinger. Is it like Bon Mo? Is it just going to be Mo? Ethereum or Bitcoin, for example. Is it e money? <laughs> oh my god. What a crosswordy answer there. Um, it's not ground, <laughs> it has ground in the clue. Unsatisfactory. Hmm, we're gonna need more help for that one. C44 down. With 21 across, straight up. Oh, um. With no ice? I don't know, is that what it is? 
coffee spot. So this isn't going to be a cafe. Maybe it's a stain. Like if you get a coffee spot on your clothing, could that be it? I like this being stress. They can cause anxiety. Is it stressors? Is that ORS? Got it. An equivalent phrase should be I see, I think. Government org whose director serves a 10 year term. Is it the FBI? They serve pretty long terms, don't they? One way to crack a code. That could be brute force. Ooh, that's a nice piece of fill too. I like that. Brute force and all systems go. Very nice. Historic Charleston site. Looks like it might be Fort. Uh, is it Fort Sumter? Is that right? Hmm. Let's see if we can confirm that. How now? To a cow? <laughs> is it just moo? <laughs> is that how cows say how now to each other? Maybe. 2017 double platinum debut album for SZA. Oh, definitely don't know that. Shucks. Oh, man. Uh, hmm. Something feels wrong here. Raw materials look like should be ores, though. Comedian Margaret, I think, is Margaret Cho. Oh, is this heck? <laughs> it's a very polite way to say you're frustrated. Uh, is it control? Like on a keyboard? People? Could be folks, yeah. Okay, maybe it's control. Maybe it is moo. This ends in nuff, huh? Maybe it's snuff? Not up to snuff? Ooh. Very good. This is another great piece of fill. These mirrored phrases are very nice. It's a great pair. U.S. city that's home to the largest Basque population outside Spain. Well, I guess it has to be Boise. I don't know. I don't know what else could fit there. I-S-E at the end. Okay, Idaho is full of Basque inhabitants. Interesting. I definitely did not know that. Okay, tall order. Not something that's difficult, but I guess it's just something you can order in a tall size. Could be a latte. Go down could be lose. Bad sorts to be stuck talking to at a gathering. Like blowhards or something? Probably ends in an S. Bores. Oh, yeah. I guess that would be bad. Easy two-pointer. That's got to be basketball, right? Maybe it's a tip-in. Is that right? I thought, I, I thought easy two-pointers in basketball were layups, but... West End? Maybe it should be Western. That could go at the end of the word West. Gifts that are usually scented. That could be Lay's. Like you get at a Luau. Single blank? Single paper? That doesn't make sense to me. Judge unfairly say... Stereotype? Nice. Okay. Single plier? Single player? Single payer. <laughs> okay, we got there eventually. <laughs> I was like really thinking about toilet paper. I guess that's single payer healthcare. Okay, uh, can we get this long one? You thought wrong, an equivalent phrase. Um, R A I R E. Hmm, you thought wrong. What is that going to be? It. Jeez, it seems like it's on the tip of my tongue. Site of an underground pool should be a grotto. Okay. Maybe it's not tipping. Because that's this is looking weird. Hmm. I want this to be like not so fast or something. Hmm. Okay, what was this again? With this straight up. 
crew north? Okay, yeah, there we go. Michael of Scott Pilgrim versus the world. I think that's Michael Sarah. Yeah. Person in a contract could be a party. Parties are sometimes in contracts, right? Bygone potentate. Oh man. Potentate, I wanna say is maybe the Shah. Is that kind of like a figurehead? I'm not sure exactly the definition of potentate. Hopefully the goose can enlighten us. Certain hieroglyphs should be asps. That's the Egyptian snake, right? Home of the stars with two Z's, one of the original eight WNBA teams. I guess that has to be Utah, Utah stars. Okay, so I guess this is au contraire. Oh, it was an I after all. It was just French. Okay, another really good piece of fill. All right, let's see if that does it for us. Very nice, 22 minutes. That was another pretty brisk Friday for us. All right, well, I think as far as Friday puzzles go, this was an excellent one. I think usually I judge Friday puzzles by how much I like their long fill. And this one just had superlative long fill. Look at these stacks, trail mixes, middle seat, Fort Sumter, Brute Force, I love Brute Force. Beer Garden is great. I'm such a sucker for Oktoberfest stuff, so I love seeing this. Raise a Glass is very good. All Systems Go is excellent. Not Up to Snuff is also really good. Au Contraire is just outstanding. That is such a good piece of fill because the letters are so tricky. It's a phrase everyone knows, but when I saw that R-A-I-R-E at the end, I was like, oh, that can't be right. So that was nice and tricky. And then Stereotype is good too. Yeah, excellent, excellent long fill. Sea turtle, tire marks is pretty good too. Excellent, I think the only kind of clunker is E money. You just can't, <laughs> you just can't escape this weird crosswordy answer here, but that's such a small nit to pick. Yeah, the rest of this was really excellent and I had a lot of fun solving it. What was this? Oh, bell pace, yeah, okay. Yeah, I never would've gotten that one. All right, yeah, I think I think that covers pretty much everything. This one was nice and tricky, um, but it still felt pretty smooth. It did take us a long time to get our toe hold in the north corner here, so it wasn't a pushover. Yeah. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that really excellent Friday puzzle with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the hardest puzzle of the week, the Saturday. All right, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'll see you next time.